Hey there, so I'm just going to run through quickly how I might approach creating one of those 3D billboards where we see you know, 3D animated objects on a curved screen popping out and uh, this is basically how I do it. So what I've done is just create a, a mock-up of, of the screen. Uh, I guess if you're doing this for a commercial project you'd have these exact measurements but for this I've just, just made a curved screen and I've created a UV for it as well and then from that using that exact uh, exact mesh I basically cut out a hole and and made it into a frame sort of like a stage so um, the screen lays exactly on top of that frame so everything's going to happen within that screen so over in layout I've sent this over and I've uh, got an object and I've just sort of animated it doing something random here and so I've got a screen here and I'm just going to hide that and I've animated this shoe just so it overlaps that uh, that border so when it when it plays it's going to look like it's actually coming out of that uh, that stage so once I've done that, basically I've uh, set my camera to a position that might be sort of optimal for viewing from the street. So again, you'd probably need some information on, um, you know, how high the, the building is, blah, 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 so that you can get a rough kind of estimate of the best viewing angle. So this is what I've come up with. So we've got a shoe just animating there. And then all I'm going to do is set set that up to render and just do a normal render there, which I've which I've already done. So I'm just going to load that image sequence. A moment. Let's have a look. Confirm where I've put it. There we go. So I've loaded this, and I'm just going to set that as a sequence now. You can see there I've got my animating shoe. So now we can go ahead and hide the, the stage and the shoe. And we'll display our screen. Just turned off the stage and shoe in, in render as well. So now in Surface Editor, I'm coming to my screen. I'm just setting this to a standard material with 100% luminosity, zero diffuse, zero specular and I'm going to set that to my image sequence and I'm also going to set it to be front so that's going to project from my camera now so you can see there that render is, is playing on there it, it doesn't display properly in uh, OpenGL but if you hit F9, you'll see that you see that looks all correct now. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new camera and let's just call this Bake. And in the properties, I'm going to set that to be a surface baking camera. So the mesh we want to bake is the uh, screen and using the, the UV map, I think it's texture one is um, the one I've got. Now the resolution, that's going to be the actual resolution of your, your screen. So I'll just put here 1920, 1080 for now. I know it's longer than that, but we'll just go with that. And then if you want to test that out now, just go into uh, your VPR with the baking camera selected and you'll see that that is actually what it's going to render. So if I just go ahead and I'm just going to render one frame now. In fact, I'll pause the video and I'll just render it out as a sequence and we can see. Just one second. Okay, that's just coming to the end of its render now. So I've rendered this to uh, this UV map to an image sequence. So once that's done, 
I'm just going to replace this screen sequence that we rendered the first time round. So let me just replace that with the next sequence. So I've just got to look over my camera to see the file name. Uh, so now you can see that this is what we've got. Okay. So then if we come to our normal camera again, this is just going to look really weird because it's, uh, it's showing the, uh, the bait sequence from the camera view because we've still got it set to front projection. So I'm just going to come in here, change that to UV map. And now you can see we've got our UV animated sequence. We can obviously convert that into a video to supply to a client or whatever. But you can see here, if I just have a look at the screen, you can see It only really works from a few angles. Well, that's not too bad actually. But from this diagonal angle, it's perfect. So that's basically the uh, the method I'd use to create something like this. So I hope you find it ho helpful. All right, cheers.